Hi, I'm Li Hao. Today I'm going to share with you about context, in particular, how to make context reactive using stores. So let's start. I've set up something over here. Um, I have three components, app, child, and grandchildren. So app imports child and renders a child. Child imports and uses a grandchildren and grandchildren over here, as you can see. All right, so I want to use context to share data from app to grandchildren by passing child. In real life, you probably have a very nested deep uh, component structure where you have multiple layers of component and then, um, and but then you want to share data across, um, uh, across like the parent, the grandparents and the grandchildren component. Um, if you want, if you want your data to be irrelevant of your component structure, you can use an uh, external store. But in this case, we want only all the grandchildren of this grandparent component to have to share the same data. That's why we go for context. So the way of using context over here is um, you come over to app.svelte and you use set context from Svelte. So uh, it's a key and then value. So you pass in a key for this context and then the value of, um, of the context value. So in this case, I'm setting the context name value and the, val the value of that context variable, the context data is called count. So initially I have count equals zero. So I'm setting a, a context value of value zero. And in the grandchildren to receive it, I use get context and pass in the same key in this case, the value, and I get the count over here. So now I have two variables. Um, to, so to make to show that it works, I can initialize counts to 100. And now my grandchildren, when I receive it, the count is value uh, 100. Uh, I'm showing the count over here, and I have buttons to increment and decrement the, but, uh, the count. And same thing goes with the app.svelte. But um, context is actually linked up during the component initialization, meaning when the component grandchildren is mounted, initialized, the link from the uh, app and the grandchildren is being linked up. And that is when you get the context. So uh, get context will get the initial value of the count, which is 100. And that, um, and that is being linked up during initialization. So the value of the count is that variable. But then um, this count is a number. Number itself is not, um, say, mute. Is you can't mutate a number, you get the value by value rather than by reference. So now within grandchildren, if you try to increment this count, you only, uh, it will only change within this grandchildren component. Same thing goes from app.svelte. Since this set context will be only called and linked up at the initialization, now when you try to increment and decrement, you don't really change the context value in the grandchildren. So too bad they are linked up at the start, but then it, it lost sync, uh, out of sync. So how do you make sure that it's reactive in a sense where when you change the value over here, uh, the context, the value of this uh, so-called context is always get updated, like all the grandchildren get updates when this uh, when the count value in the grandparent has changed? Well, that's right, you can use store. So for here, instead of uh, just defining the variable as a number 100, I can import writable from svelte store and make my count a writable store. So now I can um, I still pass in the store over the context. But to show the value, I'm going to reference it using the dollar prefix variable syntax. Now I am seeing this count over here. And now since I'm getting a store, to read the value of the store, I use dollar prefix. And now, uh, although it's being linked up at the initial uh, initialization of both components, but because it's a store, any changes to the store, uh, all both app and grandchildren is subscribing to it. So both of them will know that whenever this store has changed. So the parent in the app, when I increment it, it's 
uh, it's being notified on the grandchildren because they're subscribing to the store and that's why the value of the store is being updated uh, being showed over here the latest value of it is being shown right same thing goes with the grandchildren when you click over here it's being updated right on the start so summary uh, context is being set up during initialization and therefore value if you change the value it's not being sh the updated value will not be reflected at the grandchildren to make it reactive in a sense where whenever you change the uh, the var variable in the context in a grandparent if you change the value and you want it to be reflected to all your grandchildren then you should use a store instead you can pass the store um, over the context just like passing any variables and hopefully your grandchildren will subscribe to it and get notified whenever you change it in a grandparent so that's all for this video uh, I, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I would love very much to love to see any examples that you come out that you use um, a reactive context using stores uh, in, in your Svelte components. Right, so share with me with uh, any REPL that you've made uh, in the downs the comment down below. I love to watch them. And as always, uh, remember to subscribe so they get notified when the next video is out. So see ya. Bye bye.